morning guys so it's the morning now and uh, basically it just got changed the sun's out we're gonna go grab some breakfast um, and then once we're done with breakfast then we'll find you know things to do around St. Augustine like I said we'll probably check out the old town area as well as if we have time today we might check out that uh, Anastasia Island but for now we're gonna grab breakfast uh, the hotel provided free breakfast so free continental breakfast we're gonna go get that get some energy before we head out so just done with breakfast the breakfast is the same it's okay all I had was just uh, yogurt some apple juice uh, but right now we're just gonna head to downtown uh, to check out some of the attractions so a lot of museums um, and really old buildings I guess there's this place called the oldest house uh, oldest I don't know a bunch of cool stuff so old hotels and stuff like that uh, gift shops so let's start the car and let's get going got here just parked uh, everywhere you have to pay to park but you pay 10 bucks so it's not too bad considering it's a touristy area and right now we're out right outside this place called the flagger college um, it used to be an old hotel so it's really pretty it used to be an old hotel back in the 1800s and pretty much stayed the same so it's really nice we'll try to see if we can get like a guided tour it's a four-year um, liberal arts college called uh, flagger university um, so yeah, like I said, old hotel, apparently the uh, current dining hall used to be the old um, ballroom back in the 1800s and there's 30 million dollars worth of like decorations there, so it's really cool. Walking in right now, it's super pretty here. Everything is so nice. Like I say, it used to be an old hotel, so super fancy. This is the door leading up to like some stairs. Pretty much took a tour of the Flagger College, super pretty inside. Uh, so we're hearing like the, um, I guess the tour guide telling some people stuff. And apparently this place had electricity three years before the White House did. Uh, Thomas Edison back in the day, he, you know, provided all the lighting. Uh, like I said, it used to be the Ponce de Leon Hotel once upon a time. And then it became the college. Uh, but it's super cool, a lot of histories in here. Once we're done with the college, we're gonna go across the street, check out the Leitner Museum. So, I'm not too sure what's in there, but they have shops and it kind of looks like a castle, so it's pretty cool. We just checked out that area, I think it's called Alcatraz Hotel. Uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead to grab some food because we're kind of hungry. Seems like we have a cannon over here with some cannonballs. It looks like for display. In the distance, that looks pretty cool. I have no idea what that is, but let me zoom in on that. You can hear all the bells, just ding dong. Basically just trying to say that it's 12 noon. Uh, I guess back in the day, you know, not everyone has a watch. So I see these little like old school clocks on top of buildings like the cathedral, the schools and stuff. So yeah, that's how they tell people it's noon time. So we are about to grab some food to eat. Uh, we haven't quite decided where we're gonna go yet, but we're just looking up good restaurant on Yelp. So we made it here to Alvis Street. 
I'm not sure how it's pronounced Avis. Um, I'm not sure, but basically it's just telling us that um, this is the oldest street in the whole United States. So uh, I'm not too sure exact date, but I look it on Google just to verify it because this lady told us that it was the oldest street. I thought in Florida, but no, in the whole of the United States. So that's pretty cool. Um, pretty narrow, you know, one-way street. Apparently back in the day, they had the buildings built all the way to here. So it's, it's pretty narrow. Over here we have the uh, Spanish hospital for the military back in the day. We took the flag, so we had the Spanish flag over here. Um, so basically, back in the day, um, Ponce de Leon was the Spanish founder who found, you know, for the first, and then it was occupied by the British, and then finally, of course, now it's a 27th state in the uh, in the U.S. This is where we decided to eat. My sister looked up reviews. The place is really good. So it says Polish and Greek restaurant. It's kind of like in this alley, so it's uh, pretty incognito. menu on like a clipboard oh. the food I got something polished I never had polished food before tomato yep don't know what's don't know what's yeah. right, so we just finished our meal at that polish uh, restaurant um I'm not a personal, I guess, big fan of sour stuff, so I didn't quite enjoy it there. But it's okay, at least I tried it, you know, and I know I don't like Polish food. So they had like sauerkraut, sour cream, uh, mustard, a bunch of sour stuff. Everything was pretty much sour. So right now we're just gonna walk around and just um, digest our food, check out the stuff here in St. Augustine. informational video uh, telling us about this home so it's been here since 1800s was used like a boarding home so kind of like the Airbnb of the past uh, it's pretty cool so we didn't actually get to walk inside well we could it's a 20 dollar tour for the family so we decided not to do it but like I said we did catch a 10 minute uh, video on it so it's pretty cool with the history so right now we're just gonna walk around and just check out the other stuff here in St. Augustine Snack time, I'm gonna grab some food. So we just had food, a little snack at that place earlier. It's okay, just a little afternoon snack before dinner time since we got a little hungry from walking. And we're just walking around, for the most part, we're done walking around this area, I think. Uh, we are just crossing the street now to check out this place called the uh, Fort Entrance. So, I guess back in the day when, I guess, the Spanish occupied Florida, at least in St. Augustine, they built this fort. 
hundreds of years ago, so we're just crossing the road to check it out. up there we didn't pay because it's 10 bucks per person and we're holidaying on a budget we have some cannons over there and in the distance you can see all the boats with that bridge over there that leads to Anastasia Island to the car took a little ride uh, to the oldest house so apparently this is the oldest house in the United States pretty cool oldest house and right across it we have the San Francis barracks so I guess uh, whenever St. Augustine was used as a fort, um, they basically had this area for people to live in. So we're driving on the Bridge of Lions right now, which is basically the bridge that connects uh, St. Augustine over to Anastasia Island. Right, so dinner time, we came back to Harry's, so same place as yesterday for dinner, because we really liked it. 